Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Wednesday, March the 20th. I've got two fives, oh, and this five looks into box one, so I can place the five in box one, which will place the five in box seven, because that five and that five force a five in one of those two, here or here, but not here, because the five in row seven looks to its left. Uh, that places a five one of those two, based on that one and that one. Anyway, I get a lot of useful information from this five right here, but that's the only repeat digit I get in the top three rows. The middle three rows, I can place a two. This one, this one, this one all look into it. This two and this two force a two and one of those two. That's as far as that goes. Six and eight, six and eight, so I can place a six and an eight in row six. The six goes there. The eight can go one of those two. Six, eight, two, two, eight, six, two, eight, six, oh, and five. Oh, I can place a five there. Those two fives force a five there. These two five, well, actually, that's a five because now this isn't. How many fives do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I have all nine fives. Hallelujah. Okay. Anyway. Okay, I finally got done there. Uh, bottom three rows. Those twos. Force a two in one of these two. Fives, as mentioned, I've already done. Oh, three is in one of those three. This is not a two-three pair because the three could be here. If this was not three, I'd have a two-three hidden pair in those two cells, but I don't. So I cannot assume that just yet. If 2, 3, 5 are out, then I've got 4, 9, 8, I believe. So I'm done there. Okay, what can I do vertically? 2's there. 5's have already been placed. 9, 4, 3, 8, 6, 7. I'm done. Okay, the middle three columns, other than 5, I have nothing else to go with it. In the rightmost columns, uh, 2 and 5 are out. That leaves 3, 6, 8, 9, okay. 3 can go in one of those two, specifically. And I think that's as far as that goes. Okay. Uh, now I have to look at the next phase of scanning. 2, 5, 6, 8, 9 in row 5. I need 1, 3, Four seven to finish row five. This can be anything but seven. So can that. But that's anything but three, and that's any of the remaining digits. That was not helpful. Okay, well, we've just proven this can't be seven. Okay, seven and seven. Oh. Actually, seven's hidden, isn't it? This seven looks down into box four. This seven looks over. So this, these cells and these cells are all ruled out by seven. It must go here, which means that's an eight. Now, those two sevens force one of these to be a seven. These two virtual eights force an eight in one of those two, and now that's a two-eight pair. So this is 2, 8. These two are now a pair. These are 1 and 6, from the looks of things. And that cell has a 6 looking at it. So I can place 1, 6 in column 1. That's not 1. This is the other half of 3, 4 to fill out box 4. Now that's done. This is a triple. 1, 7, 9. Since that's not easily resolved, I'll go ahead and mark it. Oh, yes it is. I didn't even need to do that. 
because this sees 7 and 9. So that's a 1. This is 7. That's 9. I really didn't even need to mark that. Silly me. Okay, 3, 4 along with something else for column 3. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 3, 4, 9. I think I can go ahead and mark that because that's 4 and 9, but this is any of 3, 4, 9. Yep. See, those are two thirds of a three, four, nine. Uh, two, five, seven, eight, nine. So I need one, three, four, six. Fill out the rest of column two, and I get nothing of note really. Uh, well, wait a minute. Okay, so those can't be nine because of that. This can't be nine because of that. So nine in box six is strictly in that cell or that one. But one, two, five, six, seven, eight. So this is another three, four, nine triple. Interesting. Okay, that's four and nine. This is any of them. Yep. Okay, this is two, five, six, okay, this is one, three, four, seven, nine, something. Well that's one, four, or seven. It can't be three or nine. And not seven either. That's anything but seven. Yep. I've got three here, nine there. That's as much as I get of usefulness out of that. Okay, row eight should look promising. And the reason is I've got two, three, five, six, nine already placed. I need one, four, seven, eight. This can only be four or seven. It sees one and eight. Uh, that's any of them. So's that, and unfortunately, so's that one. Uh, one, four, five, seven, nine says I need two, three, six, and eight. For the rest of row seven, oh, and this is two, three, six. That's an eight. It's hidden. Okay, so these are not eight. This is a one, four, seven triple, which tells me where eight goes in row eight, which says those can't be eight. And so that's a two, three, six, which is not resolved. As a triple. Okay, these two cells, two, three, five, eight, nine. So these are one, four, six, and seven. Six must go in one of those two. Okay, two, three, five, six, eight. So these are from one, four, seven, nine. have enough to make this a triple in box 8 yet. Okay, what about these cells? They can't be 2, 5, 7, 8. These are 1, 3, 4, 6, 9. One, five, seven, nine. Okay, those are 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. fill out row 2, and this sees everything but 4. So these are not 3 or 4. These are in the box. That's not 2. That's not 8. Okay, that, that, that well, that can't be 4. 2, 4, 8 are out. Okay, 3, 6 is here. That's a 3, 6 pair. This will place 2 and 8 in the row. Four places nine. That's not nine. Okay, I've now got nine in one of those two. This can't be nine. Of the 
Because I still don't have a 3-4 pair resolved there. That, oh, that's not 4. Okay, this is the other half of 1-7 to fill out column 7, which is not resolved. This is going to be 1-6-7, because it can't be 4, and now column 8's done. Okay, I forced 9 into one of those two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, so these are from 1, 6, 7, 9. Which will get me just about anything I want. Let's see, 6 is there, that doesn't tell us anything useful in column 2. There, but that doesn't tell us anything useful. I may as well mark this. This is a triple, okay. Alright, I have five cells left to mark, none of which can be one, five, or nine. Three, seven are the only odd digits. 2, 4, 6, 8 are possible as even now. Okay, neither of these are 3. Neither of those are 8. That's not 2, and also not 8. Okay, 8's forced here, but that doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. 7's not there. Seven's here, but we that doesn't tell us anything we don't know. Eight's there, we knew that already. Oh, there's a 3-6 hidden pair in column 5. So that places 4 and 3. To place 6. So these are 6s, those are 3s, I think. Right. Yeah, 3-6-6-3, that's done. So these aren't six, that's not six or three. Okay, that leaves this as a one four pair in column two, so it's basically done. This sees everything but seven. These candidate digits, that'll place one and seven. I may as well get rid of this because one four six is now a triple in box nine. Six forces that be a two three pair. Seven makes this a four. One, that's down to a four six. So that's forced to be one. This is nine, that's seven. That's easy everything but one, three, four, nine, three. Four, one, four, three, seven, six, seven, one. Let's see, with six, nine to complete box five, two and six to complete column seven, nine, 
four, six, the right third of the grid's done. Three, two, eight, four, eight, and two. And there we go. And this was more typical of my normal times. Thank you for joining me this evening. This was not that terrible. The key was the hidden 3-6 pair. In column 5, once I finish filling the rest of the grid out.